Hey, what's up guys? It's Dark Arm Duels, and I'm gonna be doing a Code Talker deck profile. So I'm really excited to do this for you guys because this deck was actually suggested to me by one of my patrons, Wesley. And this deck is an incredible combo deck that can make some really impressive boards and summons one of the only Link 6 monsters in the entire game. Firewall Dragon Singularity, which is a crazy powerful boss monster. So without further ado, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, Hit the bell there so you can come part notification squad and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards. I can get your name in the description every single video, getting assigned cards to the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month to your Patreon. And definitely give Wesley some love down in the comments down below for suggesting such an awesome deck. So let's get straight on into this one, guys. So first off, we're going to be playing three copies of Microcoder. Microcoder is a really good three of in the deck, because this card has a crazy powerful effect that if a Cyverse monster you control would be used as a link material for a Code Talker monster, this card in your hand can also be used as a material, which is a great effect that you can actually use this card as a material in your hand to help you step into your Code Talker link monsters. This card also has a really cool ability that if you use this card for the link summon of a Code Talker monster, you can either add a sign up that spell or trap from your deck to your hand, or if this card was used on the field as a material, you can add a level four cyberse monster from your deck instead. You're always going to search out your copy of Codex off this card's ability, which is really important to be able to do, and it's just such an amazing card to be able to use for that effect. We then play a single copy of Code Generator. Code Generator is a definite one of in the build, but you really only need a single copy of this card. It shares a similar effect to your copy of Micro Coder, but when this card is used as a material for a Link Summon, you can send a Cyber's Monster with 1200 or less attack from your deck to the graveyard, which is a really good ability just to be able to Foolish Burial something to the grave like a copy of Dotscaper. But the cool thing about this card is, is it does share that ability, like your copy of Micro Coder, that it can be used in your hand as a Link material for a Code Talker monster which is such a cool effect we then play three copies of Parallel XZ. Parallel XZ is really good as a three of in the build because if you do Link Summon, you can special summon this card from your hand to your side of the field, then special summon another Parallel XZ from your deck to your side of the field. Both will become level four and both will go down to a thousand attack and a thousand defense, but it will get you two Cyverse monsters on your side of the field. So you can Link Climb with them, which is just amazing because all you have to do is Link Summon to get this awesome extender out on your side of the field. We then play a single copy of the Attic Nister Shield. This card is also a really good extender for the deck because it has the ability that you can target a Cyverse effect monster you control, negate its effects, and if you do, special summon this card from your hand, which is a great ability just to be able to special summon this card out to your side of the field, especially since it has 3,000 defense points. We then play a single copy of Dotscaper. Dotscaper is just really good in the deck because this card just special summons itself like crazy. Because it has the ability, if this card is sent to the grave, you can special summon this card, and if this card is banished, you can also special summon this card but you can only use one of its effects per turn and only once that turn and you can only use each effect of this card once per duel which is super cool that this card is that good of an extender in the deck we then play three copies of Firewall Defensor. Firewall Defensor is probably the best normal summon in the entire build, which is why we play this card as a three of. Is if this card is sent to the graveyard as a material for a link summon of a Cyverse monster, you can special summon a Firewall monster from your deck, except another copy of this card, which is a really cool ability for this card to have to just instantly get another Firewall monster out on your side of the field, because we have two really good targets in the deck that we can use with that effect. And if a Firewall monster that you control would be destroyed by card effect you can manage this card from your grave instead which is a great ability to be able to protect cards like your copy of firewall dragon singularity we then play a single copy of firewall guardian firewall guardian is a great target to be able to summon off your copy of defensor and it's just a really good card overall because if this card is sent to the graveyard as a material for a link summon of a cyverse monster you can special summon this card but banish when it leaves the field making this card a really good extender in the deck we then play a single copy of Firewall Phantom. I really like playing two targets for Defensor because we do play three copies of Defensor in the deck. So it just helps you out a lot in this build, especially since Firewall Phantom is just such a good card. Because if this card is sent to the grave as a material for a Link Summon of a Cyverse Monster, you can add a Cyanite Spell or Trap from your deck to your hand, then discard a card, which is a really cool ability to be able to add a bunch of different targets from our deck to our hand, depending on what you need. We then play a small math mech package in the deck, which is gonna be a single copy of Circular. Circular is one of the most powerful cards in the entire deck that you want to get to, because it just helps out so much to be able to basically go in for a bunch of plays with this card, and it's just such a powerful card overall, 
because it lets you send a math mech monster except a copy of circular from your deck to the grave to be able to special summon this card from your hand also you can only attack with one monster for the rest of the turn but if you're going first and you have this card you're already not attacking so it's a really good card that's almost like a magician souls for the deck it also has the ability if a math mech monster is normal or special summoned to your side of the field while you control this monster except during the damage step you can actually add one math mech spell or trap from your deck to your hand which is so cool to be able to add cards like a equation or your copy of super fractoral now the card you're always going to be sending to the graveyard off this card's ability is your copy of sigma and sigma is very important to be able to summon out to your side of the field and send to the graveyard with circular because if you control no monster in the extra monster zone while this card is in your hand or grave you can special summon this card but banish when it leaves the field which gets you an additional extender on your side of the field and basically with your copy of circular you're going to get two monsters and a search of a spell or trap that's a mad spell speller trap which is just super cool about these two cards. We then play a single copy of Math Mech Addition and a single copy of Math Mech Subtraction. These cards have the exact same effect as you can try to face hit monster on the field, and then you either reduce the attack points by a thousand or increase the attack points out by a thousand of that monster and special summon these cards out to your side of the field, making them really good extenders in the deck. And I love that about these cards. We then buy a single copy of Diameter. Diameter is just really good in the deck as a one-up. Because when this card is normal summon, you can actually target a level four cybers monster in your graveyard and special summon it which is a really cool ability and a math mech monster that was synchro or xz summon using this card on the field as a uh, as a material gains the following effect that once per turn during either player's turn or during the turn this card was special summon when your opponent activates a card or effect quick effect you can negate that effect which is a great ability to be able to do to basically just turn your copy of either alimbersham or the placium into a walking negate which is just amazing we then also play three copies of Ash Blossom. Ash Blossom's an amazing three of in the deck because this card basically just stops your opponent from touching the deck. We then play a single copy of Droll. Droll is really good in the deck as a one of because we do play cross out designator because we don't want to get hand trapped, but also this card is a great hand trap to be able to use. We also play a single copy of Effect Veiler because we really don't want to get hand trapped by an Effect Veiler, but you can also use this card against the opponent. And then finally for the last monster, we're going to be playing a single copy of Nibiru. You can sometimes in this deck with how much you link summon you can walk into a nibiru which is a little bit of a downside depending on the combo line you go into but this card is really good to be able to play as one of in the decks we do play cross up designator in the deck so you can stop your opponent from basically dropping a nibiru against you which is really important so that's it for the monsters guys let's get in to the spells So for the spells, we're going to start with a single copy of Math Mech Equation. Math Mech Equation is really good as a one of because this card is basically Monster Reborn for your Math Mech cards. We can play a single copy of Synec Codex. This card is so important in the deck and is a definite one of in the build, but you only really need a single copy of it because we have so many ways to search it in the build. And it's great once it's on your side of the field because it has the ability if a Code Talker monster is special summoned from the extract to your side of the field, then you can actually target one of those monsters to add a cyverse monster with the same attribute from your deck to your hand also you cannot special summon monsters from the extract for the rest of the turn except cyverse monsters even if this card leaves the field which is not that big of a deal because that's all we're summoning anyways but it also has the ability to cannot you cannot add other monsters with the same attribute to your hand by the effect of cyanide codex this turn and you can only activate this card once per chain meaning if we summon multiple different attributes a turn we can search out multiple different cards from our deck to our hand making so we're basically just searching more extenders so we can keep link climbing which is so cool this card is so important in the deck but you really honestly only need a single copy in the build because you can search it off of your copy of microcoder we then play a single copy of Called by the Grave. Called by the Grave is very important as a one of in the deck just to stop your opponent from hand trapping you. We also play two copies of Cross Out Designator. I feel like two is all you really need in this deck because by playing the copy of Called by the Grave and the two copies of Cross Out Designator, you have three ways to stop your opponent from hand trapping you, especially with cards like Nibiru, Ash, Droll, any of those cards you can stop with your copy of Cross Out Designator, which is really cool. 
We then play three copies of Cyanet Mining. Cyanet Mining is really good because this card is basically Rota for the deck. It lets you send one card from your hand to the graveyard to be able to add a level four Allura Cybers monster from your deck to your hand, which is such a cool effect. We then also play three copies of Small World. Small World is insane. It's also why we play so many different hand traps in the build because there's a lot of different bridges in the deck to be able to search out cards like Defensor or your copies of Circular from your deck to your hand. This card can basically get to any card in the deck, which is amazing. And you can use the hand traps as bridges to be able to get to those cards, which is amazing. But there's a lot of different combos that you can pull off with this card, which is why this card is a definite three of in the deck because you're basically playing like six copies of Rhoda. This card is like Rhoda in the deck and your copies of Sign Up Mining is also like Rhoda for the deck, which is really cool for this particular build because you always want to be able to get to Circular or Defensor, which is just really important so you can start link climbing into some really awesome cards. So that's it for the spells, guys. Let's get in to the traps. So for the traps, we're going to start off with a single copy of Mathmech Super Fractorum. Super Fractorum is amazing because it lets you bring back three Mathmech monsters from your graveyard, which is so cool to be able to do, to just basically summon out three of your Mathmech monsters, and then you basically make an XZ summon, which is really amazing. This card is absolutely crazy, and it's basically like a Soul Charge trap card, which is just absolutely crazy. We then play a single copy of Synet Conflict. Synet Conflict is just an awesome counter trap that we can search from the deck. It does require you to have a copy of a Co-Talker monster on the field, but that's so easy to do with cards like Heat Soul and Access Code. It's just really easy to do in the deck, and it's also searchable, which is why we played it as a one of. We then play three copies of Infinite Impermanence. Impermanence is so good in this deck as a three of, just to stop your opponent's monster effects. But you can also use this card with your copies of Cross Out Designator to basically stop yourself from getting hit with an Imperm. But playing three is the perfect number in the deck. So I only play one copy of Valor, and I play three copies of Imperm because it gives you four options to be able to stop your opponent's monster effects, which is just so cool. Plus, this card is amazing over overall because it can lock down entire columns of spells and traps. So that's it for the main deck guys. Let's get in to the extra deck. So for the extra deck, guys, we're going to start with a single copy of Firewall Dragon Singularity. This card is one of my favorite Link monsters ever created because it looks so cool. This card has the ability that it takes three effect monsters to make this Link 6 monster. This card is one of the only Link 6s ever created, and it has the ability, uh, quick effect, you can target cards your opponent controls or in their graveyard up to the number of different types Ritual, Fusion, Synchro, and XE that you control are in your graveyard and return them back to the hand. Also, this card gains 500 attack for each return card, and if a monster this card points to is destroyed by battle or sent to the grave, you can target one Cyverse monster in the grave and special summon it, which is a great ability. This card bounces cards off the field. It gets really big, and it's really easy to put multiple different types on your side of the field and in the grave because we're playing the Math Mech package in this build. We then play a single copy of Firewall Dragon Dark Fluid Neo Tempest Terahertz. Say that three times fast. This card is crazy. This card helps you just OTK your opponent because basically has the ability to negate any monster effect activated by your opponent during the battle phase. And quick effect, you can send one Cyberus monster from your deck or extract to the graveyard. And if you do, this card gains the attribute of that monster that was sent to the grave. Also, it gains 2,500 attack points, boosting this card up to 5,500 which is so cool. It also has the ability this card can attack monsters a number of times each battle phase up to the number of different attributes it has. So if you use its ability, it's going to get two attacks, which is so cool about this card. Plus the main card that you're going to send to the grave off this card's ability is your copy of Desave Worm, which gets you a fusion in the grave to be able to use with your copy of Singularity while also getting a spell trap negate off your copy of Desave Worm. We then play a single copy of Access Code. Access Code just gets absolutely massive and just is super easy to OTK your opponent with. Plus, it has multiple attributes in the deck that you can banish from the graveyard to be able to pop cards on the field. We then play a single copy of Protect Code Talker. This card is great for its link arrows, and plus it's just an amazing card overall to be able to work with our high link monsters, which is super cool like Singularity, Neo Tempest Terahertz, and even Access Code. We then play a single copy of Deco Talker Heat Soul. This card is Walking Pot of Greed. It lets you draw a card by paying a thousand each turn and is a quick effect, which is amazing to be able to do. And I love that about this card. 
We then play a single copy of Transco Talker. Transco Talker is a walking monster reborn, which is just amazing about this card. Play a single copy of Update Jammer. Update Jammer so we can OTK, which is just really cool because it has a really amazing ability that if this card is sent to the graveyard as a link material, the link monster that was used to make this card, or the link monster that you use this card to make, can actually make a second attack during that battle phase, which is amazing about this card to be able to make it so your copy of Access Code or any of your other link monsters can make multiple attacks. We can play a single copy of Code Talker Inverted. This card is just amazing for its link arrows, which is why we play this card in the build. Plus, it has the ability of this card's link summon. You can special on a Cyverse monster from your hand to zone this card points to, which is a great effect just to extend your plays. Plus, it's a light monster, which helps out a lot in the deck. We then play a single copy of Splash Mage. Splash Mage is great because this card is also like a walking monster reborn, like your copy of Transco. We play a single copy of G Golem Crystal Heart. G Golem Crystal Heart is great to be able to work with your copy of Transco Talker because it lets you target a Earth Link monster in the graveyard and special summon to his own this card points to, which is just amazing about this card to be able to use this card with your copy of Transco to bring Transco back from the grave and then step into a really high link monster like a copy of Singularity. We then play a single copy of Link Decoder. Link Decoder is insane. This card is a Link 1, and you guys always know Link 1s are completely busted, but this card is a crazy. If this card is sent to the grave as a material for a Cyverse Link monster with 2300 or more original attack, you can special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field, basically giving you a free material, which is just crazy. That is so good to be able to do that basically if you Link Summon into any of your Code Talker monsters, it's going to basically special summon itself out to your side of the field, except for Code Talker Inverted, of course, but it's really insane to just get that additional monster on your side of the field to help you keep Link climbing. We play a single copy of Link Rebo. Link Rebo protects you from trap cards, which is really good for cards like Evenly Matched and stuff like that. We play a single copy of Alan Bersham. Alan Bersham is great to be able to work in the deck. He's let you add Mathmet card from your deck to your hand, which is just amazing. We play a single copy of Laplacium. Laplacium is like Trishula, which is just amazing. It has really cool abilities that you can send a random card from your opponent's hand to the grave, send a monster that your opponent controls to the grave, and send a a spell or trap your opponent controls to the graveyard which is just so cool about this card it just has so many cool effects when you link summon it or basically xz summon it out to your side of the field we finally play a single copy of to save worm to save worm is so we can send this card to the grave you're never summoning this card you're just sending it to the graveyard off your copy of neo tempest terahertz and it has a really cool ability that if this card is in the graveyard you can actually quick effect banish this card from your field or graveyard to negate the activation of a spell or trap or its effect while you control a link for higher monster that's a cyber monster which is super easy to do we're always going to have our copy of singularity our copy of neo tempest terrors or access code maybe not access code access code is more of an otk piece but we're always going to have singularity on the field so we can have bounces but this card is just really really good in the deck to be able to work with neo tempest terrors to get it in the grave so that's it for the deck, guys. I hope you enjoyed This deck is super fun to be able to play. If you guys have never played Code Talker before, you definitely should because Singularity is just so cool. Plus, it's where Access Code Talker belongs. It's in its own deck, Code Talker, which is just so cool. And I absolutely love summoning it out to my side of the field in this build to basically just go in for game. It feels so cool. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell there so you can come part of the notification squad. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.